This is Anna. His real name is Anantakrishnan Iyer and he's also called other names like Prashant, Vithal Kanya, Tendli, Ranganathan Narakutti, Venkatesh, Chinnaswami. So let's just call him Anna. I've known him since before we had cable TV or the internet. And in the month of November 2016, Anna did the one thing I'm terrified of doing. He got married. Chapter 1. Cold Feet After conducting intensive internet research on weddings, I had devised a cunning, devious and extremely twisted plan to know if he was ready to get married or not. Anna, you sure you want to get married? Yes. Anna, you sure? 100%. Anna, you sure? Anna. Anna. Are you sure you want to get married or what? Mm. You sure? Yes. Anna, you want to get married? Girl? Yes. Bro, are you sure? Yes. You sure, bro? No, 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 no. Chapter 2. The Bra. I had never met Ankita. She looked like a sweet girl in the picture he once sent me, but pictures are deceiving. Case in point, this is what I look like on Tinder, and this is what I look like right now as I try to edit this video. She seemed fun. Her friends seemed fun as well, and they also seemed to understand weddings way better than I do. But what made me really like her was when she did one really cool, badass thing. Chapter three: The photographer. Every wedding ceremony is a photo op. and the one guy who truly controls the wedding is the photographer in delhi there was this guy i don't know what his name was but he was amazing he had the moves he had little shady placards for the couple he even had a background of clouds with a rainbow but at one point in the pre-wedding party he made the couple do some strange poses and that's when ankita became all bad ass and told him to piss off cuz she wanted to dance Respect. Chapter four. The dancer. I'm not much of a dancer, but North Indian weddings are different. There's a dance floor with a DJ, and everyone dances. Everyone. They even got Anna's dad and mom to dance, which I thought was really cute. There was also money being thrown on the dance floor, which I thought was slightly irresponsible. But as long as the couple seems to be having fun and people were getting drunk, it was nice. Now, normally at clubs, the DJ calls it a night, but at this wedding. This happened. May I have your attention, please? The food is ready and served. Kindly proceed towards the food area. Chapter five. The usuals. Every Indian wedding is similar. Be it in the north or the south, some stuff is standard. The Delhi wedding had rich seats, poor seats, with pink bows, a bridal entourage, a kid who's too hungry to give a shit about the bridal entourage because it's blocking the buffet, a bara. Feras, Sindhur, retarded children, crying parents, and most importantly, a flowery car. Now the reception was in Palghat, and it had names in thermocol, half-naked chefs, seats with sports bras, a photographer with knitted biker gloves, purple ice cream hecklers, hello, go there, and a happy couple. Chapter six, happily ever after. Anna, I had an awesome time at your wedding, and even though we took some liberties with you when you were drunk and snoring like a bitch, we did it out of love. And to showcase that love, here's some of the advice people gave you at the wedding. Suck it, bum shit. Please don't lose your temper unnecessarily. Please have a pedicure like at least once a month because your feet are. Ugly. Always leave the toilet seat up. Now shall learn bladder control. Take care of your beautiful wife. Please don't fart. So that's it. That's the end of this video. Have a great married life, guys, and make tons and tons of children because I know your parents want that. Anyway, I'll come see you guys in Hyderabad soon. Bye bye. And to other people who saw this video, thanks for watching, guys.